Hello everyone, welcome back again. So today's video is going to be really very beneficial for all of you who is looking for a research opportunity or a high impact research in India. So here we are going to see the top five institutes in India that conducts postdoc in biology. So if you are among one of them and completed your PhD or doctorate degree in the field of biological sciences, then this video is for you where I'm going to discuss the top five opportunities for all of you guys. So let's start our video and explore the topic in detail. So the first institute that you can see here that is IASC Bangalore and that is situated in Bangalore and if you want to see the details of this lab, what research ISC is having and what are the postdoc fellowship postdoc position. So here we are going to see everything in detail. So it was founded by JN Tata in 1909. So you can see it is an old institute and and it is having a high impact research in India. And the research division you can see means this institute conducts research in the field of biological sciences, electrical sciences, interdisciplinary research, mechanical sciences, chemical sciences, physical as well as mathematical sciences. But here we are talking about biological research, right? So biological, biological sciences research, you can see these are the research opportunities or research fields in which you can apply for a postdoc position. So you can see it conducts research for structural biology, reproductive and developmental biology, DNA repair as well as genomic stability, system biology as well as bioinformatics, neurosciences in health and disease, infectious disease, enzymology, oncology that is related to cancer, immunology, learning and studying about immune system as well as diverse ecological study and also so on. So many different research opportunities are present there. So these are just the topmost research uh, you can say field if you want to apply for a postdoc position so you can apply in any of these fields. Now you will ask what are the postdoc positions that are available at IISC in Bangalore. So you can see postdoc in IISC. So the very first postdoc that is available that is CV Raman postdoc program and this program was created that is CV Raman postdoc program with a 50 position. And this was created to select the intentionally motivated students who are, uh, you can say, aspire to conduct a high impact research. So you can see the seats that is available under CV Raman, uh, you can see postdoc program that is 50 position. Now who can apply for this CV Raman postdoc program? If you are an overseas citizen of India, if you are a person of Indian origin and foreign nationals are eligible to apply for this uh, fellowship. And you can see this is one of the rolling advertisements. So you can apply at any time and you will be selected for this, uh, you can say, post. You can see you can apply any time during the year. If you want to know more about this fellowship and program, what is this post about? So you can just visit this site that is IASC website that is isc.ag.in that is under postdoc you have to visit you will find each and every details regarding cv raman postdoc program so this is just about the first postdoc program that is available at iasc talking about the second that is iasc institute of eminence postdoc program and if you see the highlights for this you can see this is provided or it is available only for one year tenure and if you want to extend and if you're doing very good research, then in that case, your research or this program will be extended up to two years, but not more than that. So it is extendable only up to two years, not beyond two years. So who can apply for this? So if you have interest to apply for a postdoc position in IASC Bangalore, so you can just write an email to the faculty members. So if you are finding that that faculty member is compatible to you, you are having the research interest in that particular field. So you can just write a direct mail to them. And also you need to send your CV as well as well formulated research plan. What is your research plan for your future? So you have to formulate everything and then you have to attach it with your mail whatever you are sending your cover letter cv and along with that you have to write a short uh, mail like the, you are interested in uh, this particular position and you are applying for a iasc ioe postdoc program that is institute of eminence and also you can see that emoluments will be on par that is with the serve uh, national 
PDF that is postdoctoral fellowship. So this is all about the second postdoctoral fellowship or opportunity that is present at IASC Bangalore. And you can see the third one that is Pratiksha Trust Postdoc Fellows. And if you want to know more about this program, what is this about? You can just visit the website I have listed here. I have mentioned here. You can just download every details regarding this and accordingly you have to apply for this post and also you can get hired as a research associate or pdf positions in a sponsored projects so if any kind of sponsored project positions will be there for ra or pdf so you can apply through this mode also so here we have discussed four mode you can apply for cv raman postdoc program iac ioe postdoc program you can also apply through pratiksha trust postdoc fellows and also research associate that is ra position or pdf position if it is available for the sponsored project so this is all about the postdoc opportunities that is present at IAC Bangalore and here we have discussed the biological sciences research so if you are getting an opportunity to work there so what all research you will be working on so here I have listed all of the research fields so you will be working on at least one so this is all about the IASC Bangalore so now coming to the second institute so we are talking about top five institute right so second institute you can see that is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research that is Tiffer Mumbai and let's see the highlights for this lab and every detail about postdoc position in Tiffer Mumbai. It was founded by Sir Dorabshi Tata Trust that is uh, you can say under the vision of doc Dr. Homi Baba and research division you can see it conducts research in the field of biology, chemistry, physics, mathematics, computer science as well as science education but we are talking about biological research right so let's see the biological research biological field what all fields are included or you can say under this biological domain so the first is cell biology second is genetics third is biochemistry and biophysics fourth is developmental biology so here i have mentioned the core field that this institute is working on four different you can say research field that is cell biology completely genetics biochemistry along with biophysics as well as developmental biology so if you want to work in any of these fields so you can apply for a postdoc position in tiffa mumbai now what is the eligibility criteria while applying for this position so suppose if you are applying to defer Mumbai for any of the postdoc positions so you have to just see if advertisement is there or you can just apply write a mail directly to the scientist but mention and make sure that you are having all of these eligibility criteria that I have listed here that are the minimum eligibility criteria to get enrolled for a postdoc position at Tiffer in Mumbai so you can see you can have PhD or MD so either PhD or MD will work with a productive track record you should have a good academic record and the documents that is needed that is cover letter you should write a cover letter along with your CV you have to send the brief research proposal that will be for three to five pages and also you have to attach the copies of selected publication so what all research publications you are having whether it is review chap publication book chapters or research articles so you have to attach all of these publication along with your cv and cover letter and if you want to know more about the postdoctoral fellowship at tiffer mumbai so you can just write your query or write a mail to dbs faculty applicants at tiffer.res.in so this is all about the second institute that we have discussed that is tiffer mumbai where we have seen the uh, you can see high impact research that is conducted in the field of biological research and that is cell biology genetics 4 we have seen and also we have seen the eligibility eligibility criteria that will be needed to apply for a postdoctoral position coming to the third institute that is a top third institute that is about ncbs and everyone is aware of, of, of this institute that is national center for biological sciences so let's talk about this institute in detail so it was founded as a separate center of TIFR in 1992 so you can see it was founded in 20th century and biological sciences research that it conducts is in all these different fields that is biochemistry biophysics as well as bioinformatics also it conducts research in the field of neurobiology and neurosciences cellular organization and signaling 
it also conducts research in the field of genetics as well as development you can see theory and modeling of biological systems means systems biology so particularly this uh, field is available here so if you have any interest in this emerging field so you can apply for uh, this post also and also you have one more branch or in research that is ecology and evolution so this is all about the research that is conducted at ncbs bangalore but here we are going to see the postdoc position or the program that is available at ncbs so you can see ncbs is having this many postdoc program so here i have just listed the names of all the programs or you can say postdoctoral opportunities that is there at ncbs bangalore and if you want to know more about the details of all these fellowships positions or program that is there at ncbs bangalore so you can see for details you have to visit this website you will find each and every detail that is mentioned there so that will be very uh, you can say if you see all the details that are very simple and clear so you can just visit this website you will find each and every detail regarding all these program that is present in ncbs bangalore now let's see the postdoctoral program so the first is campus fellows program so this is one of the postdoctoral pro program that is available second is extramural fellowship third is berry early career award fourth is postdoctoral fellow association fifth is nic pdf nic stands for ncbs instem because you can see ncbs and instem they uh, jointly uh, research together and there will be a lot of research opening that will be jointly held by uh, NC, ncbs you can say as well as instem and c here is stands for cambridge so this is one of the pdf that is ncbs instem as well as cambridge pdf and also you can find simmons ncbs pdf so all for all these postdoctoral programs eligibility criteria and all the details will be different and even the tenure will be different like some fellowship or some postdoctoral program it will be for one year some will be for one or two years so accordingly you have to check like the tenure and each and every details regarding all these postdoctoral programs that is available in ncbs bangalore and the last one is ncbs instam so this is again one of the program you can see that is jointly program so you can apply for this program as well so this is all about the postdoctoral fellowship or program that is available at ncbs bangalore so you have to uh, select uh, any one of the program of your choice and for that you have to visit this website so this is all about the third institute that we have seen that is ncbs bangalore where we have seen the biological research we have seen the postdoctoral opportunities and also we have seen the website that is uh, for your help so this is all about the third let's come to the fourth category that is about C csir ccmb now everyone is aware of this uh, institute that is center for cellular and molecular biology that is in hyderabad now let's see the details for this it was founded in the year 1977 again you can see this is an old lab and let's see the biological sciences research why we are discussing about this biological sciences research because you will be conducting postdoctoral work in any of these field that is here so it conducts research in the field of biomedicine as well as biotechnology genetics and evolution that is genomics field cell biology as well as development computational biology as well as bioinformatics molecular biology along with structural biology biochemistry and biophysics as well as infectious diseases so again infectious diseases include many different diseases so this is just a core field so you have to visit the ccmb website and accordingly you can apply uh, for a postdoctoral program of your choice now postdoctoral position or research associate position that is available at nccs so for this what should be the eligibility criteria and the age limit so if you are applying at ncsir ccmb so make sure that you are not more than 35 years so the upper age limit is just 35 years if you are applying for a postdoctoral program and qualification that is needed to apply for a postdoc uh, doctoral program that is phd either you have submitted your phd or you are awarded with a phd degree 
so if you have submitted your uh, you can say uh, thesis on viva and all everything is done then you can just go and apply for this post doctoral position in any branch of the biological sciences and if you are not belonging to the biological sciences but still if you want to conduct research in this field so you can apply so you are always welcome and you can apply for a post doctoral position that is one of the you can say eligibility criteria for applying post doc in ccmb so if you are not belonging to biological science still you can apply if you have if you are having an interest and if you have a good and productive academic record and if you want to know further information and details regarding this so you can write a mail to or uh, you can say recruitment at csir ccmb.org that is organization again the, uh, you will find a rolling advertisement so once you are applying through this rolling advertisement for this program so make sure your cv and your application is not older than 6 months and if you are not receiving any call any email after applying so you have to again apply through that rolling advertisement right because it should not be older than 6 months if it is older than 6 months what application so if your application is older than 6 months still you are not uh, called or you are not uh, shortlisted for any of the interview is again you have to apply for this position so make sure if 6 months are gone again you have to apply you have to reapply so selection criteria will be interview based your interview will be done and on the basis of that interview you will be selected for this post doctoral position so this is all about the fourth institute that is top institute that is having a post doctoral opportunity and that is csir ccmb let's talk about the last lab that is the top fifth institute that is national center for cell science that is in pune that is nccs pune so let's talk about this lab so this was founded or uh, you can say aided by founded and aided by department of biotechnology government of india in 1986 so again you can see this is an old lab now let's see the research that is conducted in i ncs pune so you can see different research fields are there so if you have interest in any of these field you can apply for a post doctoral program so you can see stem cell biology immunology genomics proteomics systems biology structural biology as well as microbial ecology so these are just the core field inside that you will find many different fields so here i have listed core field so if you have any of the interest you can apply here now what are the eligibility criteria and documents that is needed to apply for this post doctoral program so again you need a cover letter so while you are applying so make sure so you have to just select the scientist so you can just visit the nccs website you can select the scientist from there and from there you can just write a mail directly to them that you are having that interest for a post doctoral position and then they will guide you ki kis way ke through aapko jana hai and what you have to send while you are applying and writing a mail to scientist so you have to write a mail so in that you have to write a cover letter right so cover letter cv research proposal that should be of 3 to 5 pages you have to make sure that you are uh, attaching all the selected publication copies so you have to uh, attach that and also you should have phd with a good or productive track record so this is just a minimum eligibility criteria to get a admission into uh, nccs pune if you want to know more about the details of the post doctoral program that is there in pune then you can apply and write a mail to academics at nccs.res.in so this is just a website so once you write a mail they will revert you back with the details that you asked for so this is all about the top 5 institutes in india where you can apply for a post doctoral position so you have completed your phd and now you are looking for a research opportunity so here we have discussed the biological research that is there in all these different institute so i believe that the information that i shared you was really helpful and beneficial and if you find the information was beneficial do hit like the video share to all your friends and also subscribe to our channel that is biotechnica meet you back again in the next video till next time this is your host riya thank you everyone keep learning